the old I bought is the longest relationship that I've ever had. I had it for 15 years. I'm going to say goodbye to it today. And I got it when I first moved to London. It really made me quite fearless in a country that at the time wasn't known for its accessibility. It went out with me on the Olivier red carpet when I was nominated for an Olivier Award. It went with me on protest marches. It's been with me on television. It really has just been my vehicle for creating myself and the life I want and a life that I dreamed about over 15 years that I got to now. About two years ago, it started making funny noises. Um, and I knew that, I knew it didn't want, it, want anything but another iBot. The new iBot is a lot more customizable. And it's really quite, I was surprised today to see how delicate and feminine it looked. I always felt like the old one was too big for me. It was too big for me. And I already feel much more supported. What surprises me is how much smoother this one is, both in terms of movement, but equally in terms of style and looks. It's a fashion statement. I don't feel like this channel overpowers me. I feel like you can see me more in this channel, and it's sexy. You go into a room on two wheels in an iBot and it breaks every single social construct of what life with a disability must be like. I know that if I go on a red carpet in balance mode, I'm going to get publicity shots and I'm going to end up on the website and it allows people to approach you who wouldn't normally feel okay about it. And in that way, it's a bit like a puppy. But equally, it means when you're in a crowded room, you're not sleeping under everyone else. So you're not yelling, you're not at hip level, you're at eye level, sometimes above eye level if you're with really, really short people. The iBot isn't just a mobility device, it's a vehicle that gives you, the user, a lot of power. This feels like it actually reflects my personality.